Red flags already at area beaches. A sign tropical storm Ada is looming and in the Gulf, as Jason was just talking about. Baldwin County reporter Hal Sherrig spoke with Orange Beach safety workers about what they're expecting through the week, and he has the story. Somebody made Mother Nature mad. That's the only thing I can think. Of course, we live in Baton Rouge, and uh, wow. We've had several storms that we thought were coming in. In fact, Delta caused some damage at our home in Baton Rouge. So. A red flag was flying today in Orange Beach, reminding people that there is yet again danger offshore. As Tropical Storm Ada remains in the Gulf, the folks here only hope it stays to our east. It's been really crazy. I watch the weather always just to see where the next hurricane is going, but yeah, it's sad actually, the, all the damage. Cotton Bayou Public Beach had visitors from in-state and out, locals and part-time residents with property here and elsewhere. No one was thrilled to talk about another tropical system to our south, but all were aware of it and plan on keeping an eye on what path it takes. We hit the sweet spot because we planned it right in between, not intentionally, so we're leaving back out before it's supposed to hit. Some effects of Ada are already being felt along Alabama's coastline. Strong east to west currents along shore and crashing waves have brought the red flags out again. Those wanting to cool off were doing so cautiously. Beach safety officials say folks should be prepared for worsening conditions later in the week. We expect red flags throughout the week, possibly even double red flags depending on uh, what the conditions do. So. Uh, the forecast right now has it around five to six foot surf later on in the week, so we'll have to see as it develops if it actually gets up that high. Uh, and luckily for us, the water temperature is cooling off just a touch, so that'll kind of keep people on shore rather than in the water. So right now, all we can really do is wait and see. This tropical system has taken a toll, though, on many residents in Baldwin County and as well as county resources. EMA officials say that to date, they've picked up more than 4 million cubic yards of debris. The cost of that, $600,000 a day. Reporting live in Orange Beach, Hal Sherrick, Fox 10 News.